I, I was asking if the guidelines that you set for yourself, whether your presidential candidate himself uh, will still have uh, uh, an input into who his running mate is, even though the structures of the party, as you just explained, uh, shall be brought to bear to ensure that everybody is carried along. Uh, but I was just wondering if whether or not um, the candidate himself would have a hand, and if that is an important matter at all. That is the global best practice, and uh, our own case will not be an exception. Indeed, Atiku Abubakar is not uh, only going to have a hand in who deputizes for him, but he will take uh, the greater part of uh, the decision in ensuring same. As we speak, uh, there are a few names suggested for him, and if it were to be imposed on him, then the suggestion would not have come up. So these names are suggested for him for his ratification accordingly. Mm. So mm. certainly it goes without saying that he will have a hand, and a big hand at that, in deciding who you know, appears with him as a, a running mate. Um, uh, c can we, of course, people who are not in the party but who are Nigerians and observe our practices and uh, our conventions, they've sort of worked it out that, first, first of all, for sure, the running mate is going to come from the South. Uh, that's the first thing. Uh, issues like religion uh, will, might also figure in it. I guess those are the two big ones. Uh, again, uh, how assiduously are you pursuing these uh, it could become a, an intricate affair. Number one, the opposite of where he's coming from, bring it to the south. And then, if he's a Muslim, then it has to be a Christian. Uh, are those dried and dusted, or are these just speculations? Yeah, you know, like I said uh, earlier, PDP is so smart in doing things, and it is a party that adheres to the ethics of uh, managing you know, a federation like Nigeria, where sensitive issues like the ones you have articulated, you know, ideally ought to be taken into cognizance in arriving at informed decisions. So, truly, yeah, we're looking at, uh, we have already decided in uh, taking the vice presidency to the south. And certainly, it's going to be a Christian southerner, you know, to be able to assuage the fears that uh, uh, this other uh, region, and of course, people professing the other religion, Christianity, uh, would, 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 would nurse. We are very uh, serious people. We understand the dynamics of managing a federation like Nigeria, and we take seriously those issues, as opposed to what we are hearing in uh, uh, the ruling party, that it might go uh, not in the Nigeria that we live in today. And the problem, uh, substantially, is because of uh, the same mismanagement and uh, lack of regard for this uh, 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 green areas, or what I would want to call uh, red lines, you know, which uh, APC over the last seven years have abused and violated. We have not shown any regard for federa uh, federal character. We have not shown any regard for, for other people across uh, the Niger. We've just carried on as though we, we have the right to do so. It wouldn't have been a mistake for God Almighty to create us the way he did. And you can see how the APC has uh, fostered, uh, you know, uh, what I would call an apology on Nigeria, a regret, taking this country 200 years backward, you know, because of their insensitivity, you know, in managing, you know, a delicate uh, federation like Nigeria. And certainly, PDP will not go that way. You rest assured, we're going to give a southerner for vice president and a Christian, I can guarantee you, okay. short of mentioning the name yeah, okay. of uh, the few persons that we have in mind.